begin the proceedings we are honored to have with us today Shri Anil Kumar Khandelwal ji honorable member infrastructure railway board indian railways he is the general manager of east central railway took over the charge of member infrastructure railway board and ex officio secretary to the government of india in the ministry of railways on 20th of february 2024 Shri Kandel Walji a 1987 batch officer of the Indian Railway Service of Engineers has played a pivotal role in the construction of the maintenance of the Indian railways infrastructure his impressive career includes overseeing and delivery of numerous significant railway construction projects notably he served as the chief administrative officer and construction for the prestigious USBRL project and contributed to the construction of the world's highest railway bridge the chenab bridge his exceptional leadership skills were further showcased when he was specially appointed as the first principal executive director of the gati shakti directorate railway board In this role he spearheaded initiatives to break down departmental silos fostering a collaborative approach to planning sanctioning and monitoring projects the results were record breaking performance in project sanctioning and delivery with indian railways commissioning highest ever track in the year 2022 23 and ladies and gentlemen i now have the proud privilege in inviting sir for the special address so let's put our hands together and welcome shri anil kumar kandelwal ji for the special address as all of us are fully aware that indian railway is under on transformation we are the fourth largest network in the world we are carrying about 2 lakh 2 crore passengers every day running 20000 trains connecting 8000 stations a mass transportation system logistic means for all goods and pa passengers and rightly called lifeline of india so if the train services stops the mass movement will stop we every year we move the world's population every day we move that australia population so that is the importance of this uh, transportation network i will like to show you some items or some what indian railway is doing what we have done and what is our what are the opportunities for the industry to go ahead as all of us are aware that originally we were having funds scarcity and we used to work for some time and then half the year we used to wait for the funds now after merging of budget indian railway budget and uh, our country's budget that issue is resolved and we have now adequate funding assured funding for the projects and we take together and deliver the projects so i will just go through some things our main inspiration and main motto has always been to provide better infrastructure for to move the goods faster and provide comfortable service to our all passengers so we will go through some small presentation how we started we started in long back 1853 with some steam engine today 1950 we were at we were carrying about 85% of the market share whatever goods were there today we are in era of vande bharat so we have grown from steam engine to vande bharat the original problem was there as i already told you we were getting funds of about 22000 crore so it, it was very meager today we have reached to 2.52 2.62 lakh crore so adequate funding is provided in fact this sector is being given due importance by the government to develop logistic arrangements for the country as railway is the cheapest mode of transportation and environment friendly so logistic cost will improve it as soon as we go in more and more development of the rail network we we can see that in india we were having minimum 
track density 9 km per lakh population compared to other countries we can see. So there is need to expand faster and action has been already taken by government you can see from the bars on other side. So this is about Indian railways what we already spoken we are moving more than 10,000 passenger trains, 9,000 above freight trains, 85,000 coaches, 4 lakh wagons, 97% of the, our route are electrified, 96, 97 and this year we are planning to electrify whole lot of our track. We have about 15,000 locomotives and move about 2 crore per day passengers and it is going to improve further and about 1600 million tons of goods traffic. I have already told fourth largest, second highest after passenger carrier after Japan. They are local trains and local passengers are more. Fourth highest passenger carrier, network density is lowest. So there is a need for faster development of infrastructure. If we have to grow, our economy has to grow. So 18% of world population, we are lives in India and we move world population every year, as I explained to you. The, our economy is growing. India is already fifth largest economy. From 10th, we have come to fifth. Now we are targeting to become third economy. And to become third economy, logistic arrangements are very, very important. The cost of logistics will depend on how much we carry by rail, how much we carry by various means of transportation. So we have to if we have to, our economy has to grow, we have to grow. The cost of transportation, there is some comparison, how railway stands compared to other means of transportation. Very cost effective compared to roadway, environment friendly, carbon dioxide emission is only 11.5 grams, ton per kilometer, against more than 100 by other means. So sustainable development, efficient, bulk carrier, if you have to carry bulk items, railway is the only solution. So if economy has to grow, railway has to grow. This is an example. We were together almost at the same place. And now that China has grown to 18 trillion economy, we are at 3.5. Why and how their rail network has grown and how our railway network has grown in the past. So with that background, railway is focusing on some vision that we have to provide our passenger experience, yes. our freight share has to increase, we must put technologies to have proper infrastructure and enhance the transportation and account transparency and accountability. In that direction, now earlier we were selecting, you have seen, this project kar dete hai, or some this project we will do. Abhi, we have gone on focused approach. There is a corridor based approach ke where we want, what is the work required to take from, one, from source to the utilization place. We have identified all those things and we have planned our project planning based on corridors, not on the individual piecemeal planning, which we were doing in the past. So to put it on the right perspective and faster track, on, uh, earlier we were having seven, eight departments, while used to go to all different departments for project execution uh, sanctioning. Now we have made one Gati Shakti Directorate and all the departments sits together. Whosoever is concerned for project sanctioning, they sit on the table, analyze the project, whatever deficiencies, convey with the field officials, get feedback and sanction it faster. So project sanctioning and delivery has been put on fast track by developing a Gati Shakti Directorate in the Railway Board. We are, we are planning to improve our freight share. So we call it Mission 3000 by 2030 or 32. We have identified some works, some projects, and strategy how to go ahead further and working on those strategy rather than selecting a piecemeal projects every time. So for 
what are the now opportunities, what we have, how we are progressing. As I have told you, we have to go for 3,000 million ton, improve our model share, and uske liye hume kya kya kaam karne honge. So we went from project to project, it's a program-based approach. The market share today 27 percent, we want to make it 35 percent. The total market is about 5794 million ton. It will grow, market will grow accordingly, we will, our share also should grow, percentage-wise. In that direction, we are working to make the logistic cost competitive, therefore, thereby the industry will become competitive in India as well as international market. So, we selected three corridors. The, these were announced in the budget also, and Indian Railway is working on this. Very soon they will be sanctioned and works are already started on these projects. The energy, mineral, and cement corridor. We have identified where coal mines are there, where power plants are there, from where to where they are, have to be moved. So those networks we have to strengthen so that there is no shortage of coal on the power plants. Where cement raw materials are available and where is a cement plant? Where iron ore is available and where iron requirement is there for steel factories? Those all, all are plotted on Gati Shakti portal, discuss with industries and plan the work on program basis, not just like that. And now railway will work on these corridors, on these projects for next seven to eight years, till such time that our capacity becomes adequate and we provide infrastructure in line with demand to carry the goods, whatever is demand of industry. The, to provide good experience to the passengers, the first of all we reach to the station and then to the train service. To improve the passenger experience, we have announced the biggest infrastructure program for station redevelopment, Amrit Bharat Station Development Scheme. And for improving the experience in on board, we have Amrit Vande Bharat trains, Amrit Bharat trains, and number of new products are coming. So this is a railway's endeavor to provide good facility to the passengers. We have already about th more than 1,300 stations are identified. Works has already started on 1155 stations, 169 stations are under master planning, and five stations are already completed and open for the passenger services. So, earlier we were talking, aapne bhi suna hoga kaafi time, ke ek to bana ke dikhaen. So now five major station redevelopment projects already completed and in use by the passengers. These are some photographs where stations are already completed. Ayodhya Dham, some of you might have seen. Rani Kamlapati Station, Bhopal. So there is no way we can feel proud of ourselves that we have adequately good facilities. Gandhi Nagar capital, all of us, some of, most of us might have seen. M. Visveshwaraya Terminal, Bangalore. Now some stations are, now these are under, works are going on, they are in advanced stage. So is Surat station, it will be coming up like that, all infrastructure in advanced stage. We are planning them like city center, you create space. This is on the first floor, over the track, where you, whenever you go outside of the country, you find such things. And we always used to feel that our here will So already, our here has been five और आगे काम चल रहे हैं और ये बहुत जल्दी रियलाइज होंगे इन कमिंग फ्यूचर साबरमती दिस ऑल सो ऑल मास्टर प्लानिंग इज डन कनेक्ट बोथ साइड रेलवे लाइन क्या करता है स्टेशंस क्या करते हैं उधर का और इधर का एरिया डिवाइड हो जाता है इन स्टेशन रीडेवलपमेंट वी हैव ट्राई टू पुट ए एयर कॉन्कोर्स एंड कनेक्ट बोथ साइड ऑफ द सिटी बोथ साइड वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग आइदर आरओबी और सबवेज so that you can freely pass from one side to other side and passengers and public also can use station free area to pass from one end to other end. So these are some photograph of how circulating area will be there. This is Bangalore Kent. Works are in advanced stages going on. Koyam tour. 
वी है ग्वालियर सो इफ यू सी दैट हम हमेशा बात कर, करते हैं कि विरासत भी और विकास भी वी हैव टू प्रिजर्व अवर विरासत एंड देन गो फॉर डेवलपमेंट सो बोथ आर कम्बाइंड ईयर वी हैव ओल्ड ग्लिम्सेज ऑफ दैट सिटी इन मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टेशंस एंड मॉडर्न लुक दिस इज जयपुर इट इज लाइक अवर जयपुर महल जितने होते हैं दिस स्टेशन ऑल्सो इन एडवांस स्टेज गाजियाबाद न्यू जलपाईगुरी सोमनाथ तिरुपति दिस ऑल्सो नियर कम्पलीशन दिस ईयर इट विल तिरुपति स्टेशन विल बी कम्प्लीटेड बिजवासन इज ऑल्सो इन एडवांस स्टेज ऑफ कम्पलीशन सफदरजंग दिस पोर्शन इज ऑलरेडी कम्प्लीटेड इफ यू पास थ्रू फ्रॉम दैट एरिया एंड देन एक्सटेंशन पोर्शन इज गोइंग ऑन चंडीगढ़ दिस ईयर इट विल बी कम्प्लीटेड इन एडवांस स्टेज ऑफ कम्प्लीशन सो ऑल दीज थिंग्स विल बी रियलिटी वेरी सुन इंडियन रेलवे इज गोइंग बिग वे इट इज द बिगेस्ट स्टेशन रिडेवलपमेंट इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोग्राम वर्ल्ड ओवर एंड बींग मॉनिटर्ड क्लोजली फॉर completion of around 500 station in the current year and balance in the next year these are how we are progressing these construction just we have shown some photographs ke works are how the works are going on it is not that only those beautiful pictures they are also getting realized five are already over and others are in different stage of completion bhuneshwar katak they are all in advanced stage of works are going on all over and we plan to complete around 4000 station in viksit bharat so there is a abundant opportunity for the industry to prepare themselves participate and contribute to the viksit bharat infrastructure 4000 infra uh, stations are planned by 2047 i already explained vande bharat train this is a indigenously developed more than 100 services are running to provide better facilities If most of you might have traveled in that train and you will find that the acceleration deceleration is very good and then riding comfort is very good as good as when you uh, when we used to go somewhere outside abroad and see used to think ke hamare yahan kab hoga so it is all available with you pace of construction infrastructure development has gone has how it has improved you can see through these bars we are now developed in last 10 years about 31000 km more than 31000 km track is added in indian railway network this is equivalent to network of many countries if you see south africa 20000 italy un deshon ka total network jitna nahi hai utna 10 pichle 10 saal mein indian railways ne add kiya hai and every year we are adding one austria one south korea more than 5000 kilometers you see this is now 5000 kilometers every year so pace of construction has moved fast there 4 km per day we used to do now it is more than 14 km per day and we are planning to make our track double by 2047 so viksit bharat mein hum double network ke sath prevesh karenge so i invite all industries to gear up themselves and come up for contributing to take the country in viksit bharat and to make it third economy of the world electrification we already discussed we will be fully electrified maybe only uh, network in, in the country in the world pace of electrification also 1.42 root kilometer we used to do and now we are doing about 20 kilometer anyway this year it will it, the whole thing will be completed electronic interlocking to improve the safety at the stations earlier they were all hand operated manually operated pints and other things to further strengthen the networking and then improve safety electronic interlocking digital stations are taken up in big way and this will further improve we are we are endeavoring to make whole indian railway on eis for that works are already sanctioned i request industry to come forward and become part of the development and take 
country by 2030 we should have all electronic interlocking digital station and improve safety on of our train operations automatic signaling also going on big way if you see that earlier it was a small small bar you used to do like that now we are doing almost more than double of what we were doing in the past and it adequate sanction works are there only delivery is needed funds are available works are available i invite industry to come forward and contribute for faster delivery of the projects rail renewal and track renewals are on big way they are being taken up earlier we used to do 2500 now we are doing more than 6000 so to improve safety railway is taking lot of steps and uh, allocating lot of funds there is no shortage of funds now on for infrastructure or carrying out different developmental work only we along with the industry have to come out to deliver faster bridge rehabilitation works are going on level crossing unmanned lcs have been eliminated and we have about more than 17000 manned lcs now construction of subways rob's have been taken up on big way investment of about 4 lakh crore will be there in next 8 to 10 years to make zero fatak mukt bharat rail bhartiya railway zero lc gates it will improve safety as well as the mobility a lot of works are there only we have to move forward deliver fast and contribute the existing network also we are increasing the lot of to subject talked about is kavach to improve safety the indian railway has developed our own atp system the indigenously developed if you go in the for other country side european and other places the development of their atp took in us about 30 years and in europe etc has to took about 18 years to develop we started effectively after our 2012 there was kakotkar committee but after that has laid down need of such systems after that it was going on for some or other region and in after 2016 or so it was taken in big way and within 10 years we have now you all will be able to feel happy that specification of kavach version 4 are finalized and issued by rdso on 16th of this month so now specs are finalized prototype is ready we have to start launching and deliver in big way industry has to come really come forward and deliver so far about uh, 1465 kilometer has been laid in south central area for 160 kmph kavach trials are done last month we may commission it by maybe before september 3000 kilometer delhi bombay delhi howrah works are going on with big on faster pace and uh, we are planning that this will be the, those works should be completed in the current year and 6000 more kilometers bids will be invited shortly they are already in the advanced stage so in phased manner it is being launched all over the indian railway and very soon we will see that kavach is picking up the pace with the help of the industry there is no dearth of sanctions or funds availability industry has to come come up to the occasion and deliver them faster safety performance is improving we have we want to make india we are taking lot of green initiative indian railway want to become net zero by 2030 various steps are taken there are some other items for improving passenger services and facilities to them much talked about high speed network works are going on very fast faster pace in gujarat area and maharashtra also have started big way now so we are looking forward to see that you will see first trial and running of bullet train by 2027 in gujarat area these are some pictures of that area further some more network studies are going on and a uh, lot of scope is there for expansion industry can come forward and take 
India to uh, Viksit Bharat with a lot of modern infrastructure. We are, in addition to that, we are planning about 20,000 kilometer elevated passenger corridors. For that also identified and things, surveys and other things are going on. These are all about elevated corridors. Lot of metro works are going on. Already 20 cities, it is operational. F works are going on on 17 cities. So there is no dearth of infrastructure projects. Only industry has to gear up. Funds are available, projects are available. We have to gear up, join hands together and deliver it. DFC already completed and now it is fully functional, functional except some small patch. After completion of these DFC, we have taken up now entire Indian Railway, GQGD and these networks, four lining similar to DFC. So, so many more DFC are coming, works, surveys and some works are already started. Adequate workload is there. I just, what I want to say, opportunities to industry. Only we have to gear up. This Jammu Kashmir project, USBRL connectivity, countries looking for it from long time. Now, except 17 kilometer one block section where one tunnel is giving trouble, whole work is completed and commissioned. And that small portion also, very shortly it will be completed. And we will be traveling from Kashmir to Kanyakumari in real sense, on rail. This is a much talked about Chinab Bridge, highest arch bridge of the world, more than Affield, 30 meter, 35 meter more than Longest transportation tunnel of India, this is also available in USBRL project, already completed, trains are running on this tunnel. This is a first cable state rail bridge in India, completed. Northeast connectivity, now we have reached to lot of northeast, lot, all the states, almost all the states of northeast and works are still going on and in big way. These are the northeast connectivity now. If you look back about 10 years back, it was much less, only green. This is a unique bridge, Pamban bridge, vert, first Asia's vertical lift span bridge. This also will be completed in next two months time and commissioned for train services. Rishikesh Kanprayag project is like USBRL project, works going on very, very fast speed. The tunnel boring machine is working first time in Himalayas in this project and we will be completing in a record time, 26-27, likely date of completion of this project. 125 kilometer, 6 kilometer already commissioned. Lot of tunneling works are there in these projects, almost 80-85% in USBRL, 90%. Difficult terrain projects. Gati Shakti, about 86 Gati Shakti terminal open and then we are open to open any number of Gati Shakti terminal. We are targeting about 300 number in next three years. So industry is invited, come forward, become aggregator and add to the logistic arrangement of the country. These are the opportunity which I have already repeated during my discussions, rail network will become double by 2047. All level crossing will be eliminated. Autom a coverage will go to all over country. Automatic signaling, 100% electrification, 2 into 25 electrification after electrification. Now on heavy density routes, we'll be making 2 into 25. Station redevelopment, I already told you about 4,000 stations we are targeting. Bullet train project, uh, I already explained to you that we will be completing this project. Uh, uh, trials will start by 2027 and then further works are planned to be taken up. Elevated passenger corridors, Vande Bharat coaches, about 72,000 Vande Bharat coaches will be manufactured by 2047. Passengers, jo abhi 695, hai, they are likely to grow 1300. We are planning that we have waiting list becomes zero. By network expansion, adequate train services, the waiting list should become zero. Hyperloop technology we are developing along with IIT Chennai. 
that should come forward, we should become world leader in Hyperloop. Net zero carbon, I already told by 2030, Indian Railway is planning. First, hydrogen train is likely to start in the current year in India. And then further, we are planning 50 more hydro hydrogen trains. GCTs, we are already, I told, by 2047, our target is to take it to more than 1,500. So this is the right time. Let us join hands together and take country to the Viksit Bharat 2047. This is the right time. So I invite all industries to join hands and be part of the development and take India to third economy of the world. Thank you very much.